<laughs> Actually, no, no, pause, pause, pause. I want to see what else. Guys, give Pochettino time. <laughs> Some of you, man, actually wanted to keep that bum over what we're doing right now. All you Poch peggers, come outside. Come outside. It's time to have some discussions. You lot were happy to step outside over meaningless friendlies against Celtic or losing our first game of the season to the Four Peters, to the Prem champions, Manchester City, to the Club World Cup winners, to the former Champions League winners, Manchester City. Come outside. Come outside. I want to have a conversation because Poch couldn't dream of doing that in the first five games of the season. Poch couldn't dream of having a decent performance against West Ham. He, more like, he wouldn't dream of having a good performance against Bournemouth. He'd be protecting the point. And I know what people are going to say. Oh, all you're doing is talking about Poch. Let us have lost any single game. Let us drop points in any single game. Let us not be winning any single game. And all I'll hear in my chat is about Pochettino. So same energy is going to apply. Same energy is going to apply. What a game. What a game again. Again, Maresca's actually making me enjoy the early kickoff. Do you know how rare of a feeling this is? I woke up today like, ugh. And by two hours, oh, why? Because the football was sensational. We have finally ended our streak at West Ham. We have won comfortably at a hostile atmosphere for the first time in ages. We are absolutely cooking in the attack. We have Pedro for depth. And not just Pedro Neto, we have Nkunku and we have Jao Felix all as depth. There are headaches about who we are playing up top because all of our options are actually pretty good. The likes of Nicholas Jackson who got chastised, ripped apart off one bad game against Bournemouth. Where's everybody? Come outside again. Because I said, just give him the West Ham match. Don't rip this guy over one bad performance when the whole attack wasn't good in the first half against Bournemouth as well. How about you give him another game? Because he was good against Palace and he was good against um, Wolves before that. And what do we have? Jackson, two goals and an assist. Jackson, man of the match. This guy should have won, um, should have got a hat trick. Sadly, we took him off. Which was like my only real gripe with Maresca. Like, why did you take him off? We nearly we nearly had the whole Sue and everything. Where, where's the thing? We nearly had the Sue. We were this close. This close at West Ham. We could be doing a Sue London tour if you kept him on the pitch. But, ah, well. First world problems, in it. <laughs> you know when my only complaint is that we didn't keep a guy on to get a hat trick? That's how you know we cooked. That's how you know we cooked. And I know Fafana wasn't that great at right back. He wasn't that great. I don't care. You're playing centre backs at right backs and you wonder why they're not playing well. They're out of position. We don't have any right backs. Oh well, we won 3 0. Whoop de doo. Whoop de diddly doo. Let's talk about the positives and just the list of positives. Nicholas Jackson, first off, cooking. People tell me he's better than people tell me Kai Havertz is better than him. Cool. We are going to revisit that topic numerous times. Throughout the season. As of right now, Nicholas Jackson has the mat the player of the match award. He has two goals and an assist. I expect clinical, but I need a striker, Kai, to respond tomorrow at Manchester City if he's about that life. We will be there. Moises Caicedo! For the price tag, guys. But the price tag is not performing to expectations, guys. Even that one's dead. Even that one's gone dead. No one, no one's talking shit about Kaiseido now, and it's about time. It's about time. If any of you are still questioning Kaiseido, I question your ball knowledge. I question whether you've actually been watching this football club or whether you've just been waffling about it and just following narratives and following price tag arguments. Kaiseido was our best midfielder last season. He is our best midfielder again this season. Stop the waffle with him, please. It's boring now. Tossin! Man like Tossin, you know. We might have made another shrewd transfer with Tossin Adarabioyo. I think I finally learned how to pronounce his name. And it's because you're playing so well, I have to pronounce it correctly. I have to. We've been doing the whole Fafana and Cole Will must stay together. Tosin is arguing against that point. 
He's arguing against it. He's like, I hear it. But yo, I'm hearing it. And so I, he had another commanding, another really good performance. Cucurella was just Cucurella again. Everyone, pe not everyone. This is some sections of the fan base are now trying to, are still trying to act like Chilwell's better than him. Give it up. Stop being bitter because he got an assist in the Euros final. Cucurella is a baller. Get over your fucking Spanish agenda and get over it. Who else? Who else have we ignored? Colwell. Levi Colwell. You see how good this guy looks when he's not doing left back shifts every week? You see how good he looks? The man are like, oh, no, no, Colwell isn't good enough. No, he's too lightweight and all of that. Look, I hear all of the lightweight stuff. When a man's playing left back and he's not a left back, I ain't trying to hear too much criticism on this guy's name. Simple as. Simple as. Very, very good team performance. We had the game wrapped within like 20 minutes. The second goal was such a good team goal. Such a good team goal. The first goal, Jack um, Sancho to Jackson. Goal. Done. Sancho had another brilliant 45 to, I think, 50-minute cameo. He came off some point in the second half. But he was excellent again. Felix was very unlucky not to score. He had two good chances. He got into the right positions. That's a much better cameo than I've seen from him in the last two games. Robert Sanchez. Oh, how do I forget Robert Sanchez? This guy, yet again, had a good game. We're now at four matches. Four matches for Nicholas Jack... Nicholas Jackson. For Robert Sanchez. And he's had four good games in a row. Keep the streak going, mate. Keep the streak going because you're balling out right now. You are balling out. All in all, another great performance. Take this to Brighton. Do the same thing. Get our first home win in the league. Because that's the only thing that's above our heads right now. We haven't won a league match at home yet. But, like, only one team's won there. It's Manchester City. I'm not even, like, ripping anyone for that. Oh, no, you lost to Manchester City in your first game under a new manager while you're learning a new style of play. Get Maresca out and all that crap. Shut up. Shut up. Go dunk on Brighton. They're, they can come down and just boo Cucurella, Caicedo and Sanchez before leaving with nothing again. And as things stand, we're second in the league. As things stand from when this video is recorded. Manchester City, I need a favor from you and I need it ASAP. Tomorrow, you must. If Man City get a win, I end this match day above Arsenal. And we're going to have a very fun week if we end the match day above the champions elect Arsenal. Oh, we're breaking your goals conceded, Arsenal. We're going to win a major trophy. Phase 5 Arteta. We will be there, people. We will be there. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hit the likes, subscribe, all of that. Watch it. And up the chels. Up the chels.